Welcome to another episode of Hyper Genki. My name is Cece and this week we have Godzilla news, yeah! Dragon Ball Z news, yeah! and a naughty game. Ooh. That's right, let's go. For those of you who regularly watch the show, good on you by the way, you may remember that I recently covered what we dubbed as Kaiju Boos. And as I mentioned then, we would love to see way more Godzilla related merchandise. But this is just plain crazy. Enter the 60th year anniversary, a 24 centimeters, 9.4 inch, 24 karat gold Godzilla by Ginza Tanaka. The design is based on the Godzilla featured in the 1989 film Godzilla vs. Biollante and is worth a staggering 1.47 million US dollars. You could buy a whole house with that. The Golden Godzilla officially goes on sale July 20, but is committed to a series of public appearances soon after. From July 20 to 29, it will be on display at the Jihaku Godzilla exhibit at the Hikari building in Tokyo, Shibuya. Next, it will move to the Ginza Tanaka flagship store in Ginza until August 10, before making the trip to Osaka for the Jihaku exhibit at the Abino Harukatsu Kintetsu from August 14 to 24, then finally making the rounds of other Ginza Tanaka stores across Japan. Bling bling! Rawr! And now for a slice of anime news. After the success of the last Dragon Ball Z feature film, Battle of the Gods, fans will rejoice to hear that another Dragon Ball Z film will be heading our way in early 2015. Now, not much is known about the film, but a few of these tidbits. Firstly, the new anime film will feature a concept, story and character design by the original franchise creator, Akira Toriyama, who also did so for the 2013 film, Battle of the Gods. So that's some good news right there. Now you got that, but wait, there's more. Secondly, audiences should expect more action scenes than seen in the previous Dragon Ball Z outing and will, at the same time, have a strong story while being uniquely funny. Thirdly, the Battle of the Gods animation supervisor, Tanayoshi Yamamuro, will this time round take over as the director, which should help to keep things fresh. By the way, he's directed some of the episodes in Dragon Ball Z, so he knows what he's doing. Personally, I can't wait to see the new film because as a child, this was my favorite anime. Now let me know what you think in the comments below. And now for crazy commercial time. Now you wouldn't necessarily put an onion and a notebook together, but somehow company Magnus Ferris has done just that by creating a notebook covered in onion oil with the compound that makes you cry. Now, don't believe me? Check it out. <laughs> and as a bonus, we have a second commercial that shows you that this product is not only effective for women, but also for men. Check it out. <laughs> the man cried even harder than she did. Up next, we have a very naughty game that I'm sure a lot of you boys would appreciate. It is the notorious 3D beat-em-up with the big breasted heroes. Seran Kagura to Shinku, 
aka Seran Kagura 2, Deep Crimson. Yes, the scantily clad girls are back, fighting evil ninjas, all the while trying to keep their clothes on. The game, which is for the 3DS, includes a host of brand new features and gameplay goodies, such as two additional female characters and gameplay improvements, but what's really exciting is the introduction of the tag team play feature. This means that any character from the game, friend or foe, can be teamed up in the pair battle mode to create unique, special and combo attacks. This allows for some true exploration as you combine different characters to discover unique, naughty and awesome attacks. However, we should also mention the awesome limited edition New You New DX Pack version of the game which features all sorts of goodies such as the 3DS game Senran Kagura 2 Shinku with a limited original package, a 5 piece Nintendo figure set, a luxury drama CD and the Hanzo Gakuin solo version opening song and arrangement soundtrack CD. Although this sounds like a whole bunch of fun, what else would you expect from a series creator who said this? I started to think about what I wanted to see in a game on the 3DS and within 30 seconds I had it. It was... Boobs. And as a bonus, there's just one story we had to mention. For those of you who are a fan of Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain and The Fox Engine, RT News recently ran a story on African child soldiers. Now take a look at this right here as the camera pans by. What's that I see? That is definitely not a child soldier. That is a still from Metal Gear Solid 5. Oops. Someone at RT News should definitely be doing their homework. And now for toy news. We have right here a 1 8 scale pre-painted PVC figurine of Azuki Azuya from the light novel The Hentai Prince and the Stony Cat. Now she is scanty clad as usual in her bikini bent over which makes sense considering in the novel she is described as being the biggest pervert in school. She also has an inflatable tire to lean on so yay! <laughs> Next up, we have another 1-8 scale pre-painted PVC figurine called Billy the Kid from the RPG game EU Senki. Now she's wearing some pretty kick-ass boots, a micro bikini, a wicked smile and she has a cool water pistol that's bound to keep you cool in those summer months. On top of that, I love the way she's standing. This girl sure is fierce. Unfortunately, that's the end of another Hyper Genki episode. Misa will be back next week, but until then, don't forget to subscribe below. I can't wait to see that new Dragon Ball Z film!